Hey there, Soul Shines, it's Michelle here, and it is Things We're Making Thursday. Things We're Making Thursday, Things We're Making Thursday, Things We're Making Thursday, yeah. So, it's been September. September was supposed to be for fall, or for shawls. Um, you know, in case you don't know, but probably you do, uh, Things We're Making Thursday is a collaboration that some people did started back at the beginning of 2023. Last year in 2023, they picked a pattern everybody did. This year they picked themes. And they have a Facebook group. And they have a hashtag that you can follow to see whatever's going on. Um, I didn't join until this year. Um, and I haven't been very good in the last couple months at keeping up. I'm hoping to next month because next month's going to be fun. This month, the theme has been shawls. In October, the theme is Halloween. Now, I know a lot of people that don't celebrate Halloween. They just don't. So, you know, if you're really anti-Halloween, just do pumpkins, do fall. Um, it's okay if you just want to do fall stuff. I give you permission to just do fall if you don't like Halloween. Um, I'm hoping, because Halloween is my daughter's favorite, I'm hoping that I can get her to crochet something that is Halloween-y. Uh, and then I will have her come on and share that with you. So I'm excited about that. So for shawls, my nose has got itchy stuff. You know, you could take a pattern like this, this big round blanket, and you could call it a shawl. This here is the Vortex shawl. It is a big round circle. It is not big enough, so it does not get worn as a shawl. There are different shapes. There are crescent shapes. There are these ones that are asymmetrical, start out skinny, get big. I don't care for those, but a lot of people love them. There are wraps, which are basically big triangles. Um, you've got your Sorry, wraps are big rectangles. You've got big triangles. Uh, you got half circles. You got half octagons. Like so many different shapes, and that's really fun. And I actually really enjoy wearing my shawl. I really do. And we are going into the perfect weather for it because it's kind of uh, in between weather where it's kind of chilly but not cold. I want to put up. Uh, the picture right here, this is the shawl that Angela has been making this year. She's never made a shawl before. This is her first one. It's a bag of day crochet one. Uh, if I can figure out which tutorial she followed, I will put that link below. Um, she does say she wants to make it bigger and she gave me some information about the shawl, um, like what hook size she used and stuff. So I will just leave a little thing in the description about whatever information I can share with you about her shawl. Um, I'm excited for her. She wasn't sure if she could make one or not and um, I was like, they're so easy to make, you could totally make one. So she has made it, it's great. Um, maybe she'll make another one, I don't know. But she does want to make this one bigger and I don't blame her. Big shawls are nice because then you can cozy up in them. Uh, the thing I was hoping to get progress on and haven't, is the wrap that I was making for my friend. I will, of course, put the link down below. Um, this is this is how far I've gotten. So, yeah, I had to undo it to make it a little bit wider. She is a taller woman. I'm not sure how tall she is. And so I just felt like that it needed to be a little bigger than the when they did so I just figured out how much more I needed to go across to make it bigger and then I don't know how well you can see these fun little crisscross it's a triple um, you do it you do like as if you're gonna do a treble you go into the stitch and pull up a yarn and you go through half of it and then you yarn over again and you go over a couple of stitches and pull up and you go through it you go through again and that's your middle is the second time and you go through and you go through and you chain over and then you come back and you hook into the middle 
and do a double there and that makes the whole little cluster stitch um, to make this X and it's a free pattern so go I, go get it figured out it seems kind of you know if you want to you don't have to it seems kind of complicated at first but if you just take it a little slow and you just follow okay this is how to do the stitch I yarn over twice go in that space pull up and you just follow each step one bit at a time until you get it down maybe you have to follow it twice um, but it should be then you're like okay I know how to do this little thing and it just repeats and so you just have that and then a row of double crochets and that is the entire thing so it's a two row repeat you make a big triangle I know there's some kind of a border on it I don't know about the border yet but you know what let's if you don't like the border or you're like that's way complicated just put a different border on it or leave it how it is it's your own work you can change things I like it when people say um, it's the pattern is a guideline uh, you can change your hook size you can change your yarn size you can change your um, how many repeats you're gonna do you can eliminate things you just like patterns are great it, you can change things up if you want to anyway I'm gonna go now I just wanted to get in really quick and record this before I get going crazy on the rest of my day hopefully I can get it edited sometime today and uh, for you guys to watch tomorrow because today is busy and so with that Remember to let your light shine through your creations, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Things we're making Thursday, things we're making Thursday, things we're making Thursday, yeah.